Good morning, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So I decided to do a quick trip to Animal Kingdom. It wasn't really planned. A uh, friend invited me out, so like, why not? It's a beautiful day out. So I'm gonna be taking the Animal Pass holder entrance to get in, just because. <laughs> oh, here we go. Good morning. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was like, it's not reading. There you go, and that's like that. Back in into Animal Kingdom. So I must, I might walk on the way walking toward Everest. I had stopped by here because you can, as you can see right up there, you see the monkeys hanging, and they were like making noises earlier. And it's funny. As soon as I turned the camera on, they stopped. So it was really quiet. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I can't see them because they went like all around the other side. Let's see if we can see it better over here. Oh, see, from this side, you can see it better because he's hanging on this side. Ah, oh, he just walked away. There he goes. He's crawling all down the rope. I know it's kind of hard to see with the sun glaring, but oh, there he goes. Swinging away. All the way to the other side over there. Whoa. Almost fell, man. <laughs> So I have never been in this little gift shop, which is like by the entrance of the um, water the ride, Rapper Rap. So I want to see what they have in here. That's a really nice dress with the elephants on it. It's pretty cool. How much is this? Oh, it's actually on sale. $20. Season. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you got some pandas. Ooh, a whole bunch of different shirts over here too. Pretty cool. Oh, look at the dragon. I want to like it because that's my uh, Chinese zodiac symbol. And what oh, we got a sloth. Like the Yaki Yaki restaurant, which I've been before. This is really cool. Oh, they even have the Yaki Yaki sauces here and the seasoning and the spices. So I'm in the queue right now, about to go ride Everest and it extends all the way to the Nemo show. Like literally, it goes all the way back over there. Um, according to the sign, it says it's about 25 minutes, but um, we'll see if it really is that long. But the line is moving along really quickly, so that's a, a good thing. So I didn't know you're not allowed to drink past this white sign to go into Everest. So I like have to consume my coffee really quick before my friend gets around, so let's see. Wow, well, so I always gotta stop my day off with some Joffrey's. Either that or Starbucks every single time I come in the park.
later at Animal Kingdom. It was amazing and that was not even a long wait. It looked really long but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> As soon as I get off uh, Everest, this is the new merch for Expedition Everest. So they have this t-shirt that says I conquered Expedition Everest. They have an Everest Summit um, gear t-shirt. They have some new lounge flies. Oh, it's so soft. This is a nice little bit like it's for $80. And then they have this um, new spirit jersey. It's pretty cool. But the patio and I'm still on the phone, look at That's pretty cute. So these tees are $22 each when you buy two of them. But if you get one t-shirt, it's about $24.99. And this is another one of the new t-shirts for the Yeti. And then there's the gray one. And then there's a red Everest one. Here in Africa, I love the Dawa bar because they have a lot of selections of wine and beer. So I'm gonna go join this line. It's not a bad of a line. In case you're wondering, this is not the line to get in the bar. This is the line actually that goes to go in the safari ride. But the bear line has to be a shorter line. So I am going to be getting the Lost in Safari. It comes with Star African Rum, Captain Morgan Original Spice Rum with Refreshing Hangani Punch. Because I'm a rum girl, so I'm going to be getting that. And like I said, I'm staying away from tequila, so we are making the drinks right back here. That was pretty quick. I already got my drink and here it is. Let's see how it is. Oh yeah. It's so refreshing. Nice and fruity. Basically a rum punch. This is what I used to get a lot when I was in Jamaica. That or a red stripe. But... Oh yeah. So my friend over here, he got the Safari Amber, which is a... <laughs> What's up? Anyways, he's a beer guy, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers. It's always five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so in Animal Kingdom, I got one of the Easter snacks. It's his... Um, sugar cookie and it has a blue mickey frosting and sprinkles on it so i'm excited to try this new snack well it's not really new but it's new for me because i've never had it so i guess i'll bite off this air first <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm at one of my favorite lounges right now, which is called the No Man Lounge. It's literally right next to Tiffin's and next to Pandora, in case you're wondering where it's at. Um, you do have to wait a little bit because it's very popular and crowded. So you just go and give you the, your name and number, and they'll text you when the table's ready. So it took about an hour. You can do all the stuff in Animal Kingdom and then we all, and then it come right back here when they text you to come back when the table's ready. Who's waving? It's Mickey! Most of the re Disney restaurants and lounges they have, you have to scan the QR code and this pops it right up to show you what they have on their um, menu. So for their plates, they got like a chicken man, churon, no man bowl, a impossible slider, um, churros, and then I mostly came here for the drinks because I love their drinks. So they have a whole bunch of different cocktails. One of the popular ones I had last, actually, this was a, what I had last time. It's called the Anna, Anna Perino Zing. And then, um, and the Mike Monkey's pretty good too. That's a really good cocktail if you want a recommendation of what I had last time. And then, of course, like I said, they have wines and they have beer, a little bit of everything here. And I got like one of the best seats in the house because I love being outdoors. And look at that, this view. It's amazing. You can't beat it, but look at this. It's a really chill area i love it here like this is one of the best lounges here in animal kingdom in my opinion i think so i mean they have also other bars throughout the park but i just love it here it's a really cool chill spot and you can get some good appetizers and the prices are not that bad so i recommend definitely coming here and checking this nomad no man no bad i never pronounced this place right <laughs> so this is one of my favorite cocktails i usually get and i couldn't remember the name luckily i had the picture from my last trip so my server jamal was like 
this right here is actually edible. I didn't know that because last time I was here, I just threw it out because I thought it was just for decoration. He's like, no, you can eat it. And the name of this drink is called the Jen's Tattoo. And it came from the, the girl that uh, opened up this restaurant and that's what they named it after. And um, yeah, so now I can remember the name because I had to show him a picture from the last time I came here. Well, uh, I can't wait to try it again. It's been a while since I've been here, so yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Always hits the spot. Such a refreshing drink. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> now I'm curious how what this thing tastes like because like the, my server was telling me it is edible. So let's let's see. It's like a how do I explain it? It's really sweet and it's like a... I don't know what's that one fruit called. Jeez, how do I forget? Not prune, um... It's not clicking, I'm having a brain fart right now. Licorice? I, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's an interesting fact. You, you are allowed to eat this though. <laughs> I don't usually, I'm not usually a bear kind of girl, but... Alex was telling me, oh, you need to try this. I'm like, okay, I guess. So let's see, how does this taste? Oh, it's not actually not that bad. It has like a kick to it. It's sweet. I usually like my drink sweet. Huh, it's cinnamony. <laughs> For the appetizer, I had ordered the, it's called the Roasted Calabaza Squash Soup. So what it comes with is ginger pear chutney, pickled jalapeno, chai spice, and candied pistachios. And then they gave you like this little mug cup thingy, because he was like pouring it all, like looking all fancy, and it just goes Ooh. So, uh oh, uh oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on and break stuff. But yeah. I usually don't like jalapeno, so I can move it to the side real quick because I don't like spicy food. I know you're gonna think like, what kind of Jamaican are you? Don't like spicy food, but let's go. Let's try this. Let's try this too. Let's see what it tastes like. And be the first bite. It has that smooth. Flavor is like nice and warm, and it's yeah, it's, it's a it's a good um little snack to have while you're here in the lounge. I've never had this before because usually I just come here just for the drinks, but I was kind of getting hungry, so yeah. Yeah, if you want a soup, I definitely recommend getting this. I'm not just saying it's good. You know, some people. Like when they are posting like reviews and stuff on food, they just say everything is good. But like if something's like I don't really like, I'm gonna say. It. But this, I actually enjoy this. I haven't had a bad experience ever. That's why I keep coming back. <laughs> so second appetizer of the day is the impossible slider. So it comes with these two little mini sliders and then the yuca fries. It looks really good. Mm. So what does it come with? It's like, is that carrot and lettuce and I don't even know what that sauce is, but oh, I've never had this before, but that's pretty good. So let's go try this. Alrighty. Hmm. <laughs> Not that bad. It's really good. And now let's try one of these yukos. In case you guys are wondering what a yuka is, it's kind of like a what? A what? A, it's a root of the cassava tree. It's a root of the cassava tree. Yes. So, I mean, I usually get this when I'm at Poyo, but uh, let's just see this one. Here. I like it, it's hot, it's crispy. Oh yeah, it hits the spot. <laughs> I'm now entering into the Gorilla Falls. 
So this is a nice cool little area to check out the animals. Of course there's gorillas in there and all kinds of stuff. It's a nice little trail if you want to get away and not want to do rides. It's, just, it's really cool. So I'm going to show you all the different animals throughout this whole trail here. So I'm not sure if you guys can really see it, but if you look right where my finger is pointing, you can see him napping right on that little thing swinging. Maybe I can get a better view from on this angle, but I'm not sure. No, no, you can't. Okay, can you see him, guys? I know he kind of blends in. There he is. So what we're looking at right now is called the Akopi. 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 I can never say the name, but yeah, he's right in front of us, just eating. Or drinking. Spot my tongue. <laughs> His tongue is really long. Look at that. <laughs> this exhibit right here is the naked mole rat. I'm gonna try to find one of them. They're not. Oh, in the left hand corner, you can see them a little bit right there. We're just crawling around. Oh, there's a, a closer view of them. Look at all the babies. Oh, it's kind of oh. good. And then you can see the baby roll that's over here. Look, guys, look at the baby ones. They're the baby rolls more. I bet I know what they use those for. What's in this one? What's in here? Oh, this is a turtle. What is supposed to be in this glass case? There he is. I know. Alright, let's go. Oh, there it is. It's in the little corner right here. You see the snake right here. Oh, it's a better view right here. So cool. I have the zebras. Literally, there's two of them. There's one on the left and one on the right right here. It's really cool. Actually, three. There's one, four. One all the way, way back there. That's really neat. Oh, <laughs> look at him. He's just eating right in the corner. Just chilling like a little <laughs> Look at that one. On, he's laying on his back. It's so funny. <laughs> look, he's just grabbing his foot, hanging out. <laughs> Whoa, the raw land gorilla. Walking on this shaky bridge right now. Oh boy. <laughs> and we're coming up to see what's next in this trail. There should be something on the left hand corner as we're walking toward it. I'm not, I forgot what was in here because it's been a while since I've been on this trail but let's see if we can see any spot anything oh there's nothing out right now not even on the right side either oh man sorry guys can't show you something they're not out they're hiding maybe they want shade because it's too toasty outside <laughs> so before I head home and have to go to work later I'm gonna end my day with an another cup of coffee. I had to stop by Joffrey's on the way out. I know I had one early at the beginning of the day, but I have to end it at the end of the, of the park day. But this time I had got the um, chai tea latte. I know earlier I always get the Jamaican shaking cold brew, but I wanted something different before I head to work. Um, overall, this day at Animal Kingdom has been amazing because I got to do Everest. I got to um, go into the Nomad Lounge had some good drinks and appetizers and then I was able to walk along the gorilla trail and see the animals that were out at the, at the time. I wish I could have um, rolled the train because I've never done that but that will be on the next Animal Kingdom trip. Um, but yeah, it's, it was like a, it was a beautiful Tuesday out here, no rain, it's sunny and um, it's not as crowded as I thought it would be. Well, besides like, you know, in Pandora era, like, those rides are normally really, really long. But it's okay because, you know, I'm a pass holder. I can just come back anytime I wanted to. Um, but if you guys enjoy this video, if you do, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next adventure.